everybody, Pastor Nate here, lead servant Greater Life Church here in beautiful San Diego, California. I'm so happy to be able to come to you to present some incredible leaders of our church. We have eight ministers in training who I'm so proud of. And in the midst of pandemic and chaos, they're going to come all week long to offer us moments of hope. Like never before, our world needs to know that in spite of the pandemic, God is still in control. And if God is still in control, it is our belief that we will survive. And so on today, we're going to kick off seven days, y'all, of hope, inspiring you to be better and inspiring and encouraging you to keep going even in the midst of the pandemic. Sit back all week long and may the Lord bless you with a word of hope. God bless. Good evening. My name is Vern again. I'm an MIT in training for Greater Life Baptist Church in San Diego, California. I come today to give you hope. I know that things today does not look hopeful, but if you just trust and believe and lean on God, that hope shall come through. I want to share with you from Romans 12, 12, the ESV version. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. There's four key things for me with the scripture. Hope, patient, tribulations, and prayer. And hope is to have that unwavering assurance knowing that in God's word, he shall prevail. God's word is true and cannot be broken regardless what the circumstances look like. Just know that there is hope in God. And to be patient in tribulations, there will be tribulations, but w wait upon the Lord with patience, long suffering, without complaining, be of good cheer. God's strength is sufficient to see you through every difficulty in life, even with the coronavirus. God knew before we knew that corona would come on the scene. So in my mind, I think I look at corona as an opportunity for me to get closer to God. And I will share with you today, be it divorce, be it loss of job, be it depression, just get closer to God, be patient, and know that God is working things out for your good. And I would also encourage you to not to look at what you don't have, don't look at the bad things, but know that everything is working out for your good. God's word says that God's word is true. God's word is, is real, God's is, is livable. And I can say myself as a woman who has gone through tribulations, who's going through trials. Once I began to focus on God and not those things I was going through, although my situation hadn't changed, but, but it seemed like I became more peaceful with the situation. Once the peace came, then the change came. And I can say to you, whatever it is that you may be going through today, that God is using this moment so that you can go and educate someone else about the love of God, about the peace of God, about the patience that you gain within God. And then prayer, prayer is like that insurance. It's like you have your car insurance, you know, and if you get into an accident, you can call your, your insurance company and file a claim and get your car fixed. But as it relates to prayer in, in the spiritual realm, prayer is the source of all spiritual warfare. Pray, pray constantly. Do not give up. Your life will be changed. And prayer is like you commun you're communicating with God. You talk to your best friend. You talk to your mom. You talk to your dad or what have you. And that's how God wants us to come to him. Just simply in prayer. Ask him for what it is that we want and ask him for what, what it is that we need. Now, your wants might not always be exactly what God has designed for you. But I guarantee you, through prayer, he will see you through. Today, if you're feeling depressed, I ask you to hold your head up. Hold your head up and look up to God. Know that God is going to see you through. There is nothing too big for God to handle. And he, actually, he's right here with you now. And I'll just ask you if you can just meditate on the goodness of God. If you don't know God, I ask that you come today and give your life to God. You know, here at Greater Life, we have our virtual worship. Although we're not in the building, we have our Wednesday service. We also have our Sunday service at 8 o'clock. And I thank you for tuning in today, and I hope that I was able to give you a word of hope today that you can keep going on just a little bit longer and know that this too shall pass. For God works everything out for our good. Thank you.